We are back. Okay, so before we start everything in here is just my opinion and the speculation, but I'm going to give you a little bit of logic behind purchasing cryptocurrencies. Okay, so you want to know whether to buy MetaHero crypto or not. To buy or not to buy, that is the question. So in this video, before we go, you are going to know how to buy it. Should you buy it? Will it be a good investment? How much money you'll be able to make from it? Is it going up? Is it going down? What's the future? So stay to the end so you can know all of that, okay? All right, that way you don't have to go watch a million view videos and become a professional YouTube watcher. So let's get straight to it. So you also probably wanna know what the current price is today. So it's down from the other day, about 9.49%, which is no panic. If you're a, a, a person that normally watches my videos on my channel you'll know that we really don't pay attention to this we pay attention to usage over here we pay attention to real life real world application because that's what's going to win in the long term if you just for a quick flip buy the dip and then sell high and run away and all of that extra scary investment type stuff then i guess whatever but i don't want to live that type of life where i'm always just staring at this chart okay and then just making a little money here I want the big wins. I want the Amazons. I want the Apples and all of that. So if you want Meta Hero to probably be one of those, keep watching, okay? All right, so now you know the price for today. Now you know to ignore that crap, okay? Second of all, I can't give investment advice. This is not a, well, this is a financial channel, but I'm not your financial advisor, but I can advise you to become financially free using the resources that I have in the description of this video. If you really want good investments that bring guaranteed and quick returns and i have those in the description of this video check them out before you go but keep watching all right so whenever you're trying to purchase a cryptocurrency you definitely want to be safe make sure you're safe always get the instructions for purchasing a cryptocurrency from the site itself or from the reputable exchange that is being sold swapped and so uh <laughs> shared on okay all right so as you can see they have the smart contract right here on the website we'll come right back to that but first i want to show you before you buy exactly what the future for meta hero is and you can read the white paper i read the white paper the other day okay but look <clears throat> Meta Hero, just in case you haven't seen this, Meta Hero launches a personalized meta scanning technology to rev revolutionize the metaverse and increase blockchain adoption. Now, normally, if you, you watch me, if you do, you know, if you don't subscribe in any way, uh, you know that I like real life usage and I definitely hate cryptocurrencies that are only used on specific platforms or in a specific way because cryptocurrency was created the whole point was to replace the dollar a dollar can be used everywhere to buy groceries clothes whatever but certain cryptocurrencies are only made for marketplaces and platforms that doesn't make any sense so why am i talking about this one in a good light then keep watching all right i'm going to explain why i believe this one it won't be the mass adoption replacement for a dollar i don't believe but it is gonna be a, a dominant force in cryptocurrency period. So let's keep watching. On June 21st, 2021, MetaHero launched a project, which is 3D scanning solution. We already know 3D scanning is the future for personalized avatars and virtual items. The launch of this project made people feel super excited. All right, so MetaHero combines 3D scanning, which is definitely the future, we all know that, and modeling technology with the NFT smart contracts to enable the creation of unique Ultra HD meta avatars and meta options, uh, I mean, objects that can exist forever on the blockchain. So, be, hey, if you guys have short attention spans or you're at work or something, open up another browser email this video to yourself so you watch, watch uh, so you can watch it later uh, or share this to your Facebook page so you can watch it when you go on your break or something but don't lose this and if you're already working and you're doing something open it up in another browser and just have it playing over there don't exit out okay you're going to want to hear these things all right the next gen technology creates ultra HD 3D scans that can be used across social media Pay attention, social media, we know that's the future, is not going anywhere. Games, VR, that's virtual uh, reality platforms, as well as, get this, as well as art. Now, I'm an artist, I love art, whether that's music or actual portrait drawing and painting and all that. Uh, fashion, online shopping, science, medicine, that's been around since the beginning 
education and engineering okay so this is is creating ultra hd 3d scans for all of those different uh, uh you know aspects the metaverse is a mixture of augmented virtual and enhanced enhanced reality online in games is reality online and in games the shared virtual space is predicted to become the future of the internet and how we go about daily lives and earn a living. So you guys saw Ready Player One. If you didn't see that movie, this is what they're talking about in here. So that's why I got super hyped because you can ignore it and say, oh, this is just talking about virtual reality and games. This isn't gonna be a dominant force. This is just gonna, but if you remember that movie, man, like they were literally living inside the game all day. They were in the game so long that when they, actually unplugged from the game they hated the real world like they hated their lives they hated all of that it's literally people that live like that right now currently so we know this is going to be the future like nobody can stay off their phones nobody can stay off social media hey they said social media nobody can stop shopping nobody so this is literally going to weave itself into the fabric of society uh, soon so i don't know the exact future as far as a as a currency like mainstream but i know this is going to be a part okay watch this so the metaverse related markets although still ill-defined have been growing and are predicted to increase exponentially in coming years the in-game items market alone is currently worth 50 billion dollars while the ar and the vr markets are estimated 30 uh, 30.7 30 billion and are expected to grow to around 297 billion by 2024 that's just a couple years from now so that's exponential growth man so I'm seeing an upside to this. This is why I say when I tell you guys, you know, I, don't pay attention to this type of stuff. Don't pay attention to these daily charts. Read the white papers, read the roadmaps, because a lot of these cryptocurrencies have a lot going on behind the scene that it might not affect this right now, but soon is going to be a freaking burst, okay? Because if they focused on just pleasing you guys with this daily chart and just getting uh, celebrities to pump the token and talk about it and be on TV tweeting it out and all of that extra stuff, they'll lose focus of the real goal, which is to replace a lot of crap out here and create something awesome, right? So pay attention to the long term. So Metaverse has also been adopting various blockchain technologies and building blockchain based on decentralized worlds like Decentraland and AXE. Axie, Axie, Infinity. The use of blockchain and cryptocurrencies allow games and virtual platforms to provide revenue to their makers, making it an addiction, uh, addictive type of situation, right? Uh, gamers and builders through in-game economies, smart staking, trading, and holding metaverse assets, okay? So like I said, this is usually the part where I fall off and I don't really like this type of stuff. But like I said, keep watching. This has promise okay so for example axie or axie infinity genesis plot a virtual piece of land that generates revenue to its owners within the game has been sold for an equivalent of 1.5 million in ethereum <laughs> that's freaking that's awesome right okay another example is fortnite in 2019 the famous metaverse game by epic games organized a virtual concert of DJ Marshmallow that attracted 10.7 million unique players online. I told you a lot of these people actually live online, man. Like, like who the hell does that? Okay, so this, this stuff is going to get bigger and bigger, pause. All right, so meta adoption. Meta Hero plans to tap into the gaming and metaverse markets through proprietary 3d technology and mobile 3d scanning units that can be used and transported all around the world the project also incorporates a cryptocurrency token economy to provide users gamers artists and builders with new revenue sources to incentivize building and trading on a meta hero platform do you see what their goal is do you see what the roadmap is all right then you now see why you can't pay attention to this because things like that the thing the plans that they have is going to take time for implementation is just like with the amp token it's not a hype coin okay the plans that they have to take over and dominate they're going to take a couple years maybe to actually implement so if you buying and holding then or even better if you using then it's really helping it's helping the movement you have to buy these cryptos and use them too 
if you want it to be mass adoption. A lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to buy and hold and that's going to take over the world. You got to use it in order for people to actually say, oh, so I don't have to pay with cash. You have to show them how to use the money. Common sense, right? All right, so the team aims to create useful and enticing tools and products to make it easier to adopt cryptocurrencies and on-ramp into Meta, Hero, and DeFi. All products and services on the Meta Hero platforms will use the native Hero token. That's typical with all of these platform tokens. Hero launch. Meta Hero project and website launch on June 21st, blah, blah, blah. We already know that. The total supply. You guys can go and read that. Now, for all of you guys who stay to the end so that you can watch how or, or, or see how to purchase the cryptocurrency, like I said, instead of uh, uh, getting your wallets drained and getting scammed, getting all your money taken, you know, you come to the home site. Don't go to Twitter. Don't go to uh, Reddit. Don't copy some weird contract uh, from anybody. Okay. All right. So look at on the actual site, it says buy hero right here, buy hero. And here's the smart contract right here. It's very simple. All right. First, you can come here you can watch the trailer, read a little bit about it and everything, what they're doing. We just read all about it pretty much. I love the design of the site, right? Don't you guys, don't you got it? Uh, you can read the tokenomics if you want to, you know, if you don't really care, then whatever, pass it up. I really love the design of this site. But um, all right. So basically up here, you just press the buy button, you know what I'm saying? It'll open up in pancake swap. It should auto populate the contract address. My internet going kind of slow right now. Boom. Okay, so there we go. Uh, you hit, I understand, I'm not gonna do this, but you guys know, know exactly how to do it. So now you know where and how to buy Meta Hero if you want to. And now I've answered using this in a roadmap, in a white paper, whether or not you should buy Meta Hero crypto. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Some of you guys are already holders. What's your experience so far? Are you afraid or, or are you bearish because of what you're seeing over here? Are you gonna hold? And are you, most importantly, are you gonna start using these cryptos? That's what's really gonna pump them. You gotta use them. People gotta know that they're out there. If you're just holding it to yourself, I mean, this ain't some vault or some buried treasure type stuff. You got to use it, man. You got to use it. Stop being a quick flip type investor. Quit just looking for opportunities to do a quick flip. You need to be a long-term investor to see what's going to happen in the freaking future. If you can invest something right now, sit on it. And then when these companies actually roll out what they have in their roadmaps, you'll be worth so much more than a quick five, $10,000 uh, that you might get with these quick dip flips. Okay. I call them dip flips. <laughs> okay. Comment, put hashtag dip, dip flips. Okay. All right. Love you guys. See you in the next one.